Okay, um, I've gathered some of my favorite artworks that I've done through the years. Um, I just wanted to show and explain some things here and there. Okay, so anyway, when I was seven years old, I did this picture of Crackle. <laughs> you know, I mean, it showed that I was at least interested in drawing. Um, when I was 11, I did this one, and uh, I showed it to my brothers, and they said, you didn't draw that. I said, yes, I did. <laughs> But, um, and then uh, when I get into high school, uh, I was doing some surrealisms. Salvador Dali was uh, always an influence of mine. Um, this is a portrait of him that I did. Um, but uh, I uh, had kind of a, an infatuation with forks for some reason. Um, this one I did with construction paper and some little bit of crayon work and some black marker but just to be mean the white is the back page and the black is in front of it which <laughs> is kind of weird but uh, and then here's some uh silverware on a paperweight um the only part of this drawing it's it's blue and red colored pencil and black marker and the only part of the paper that's clean is the bowl of the spoon where it's glaring um i did this this is a, a little bit larger drawing um, I, I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's a, it's a representation of my daughter on a blind unicorn walking by faith. Uh, I know it's kind of heavy, but there's a little dove representing the Holy Spirit in the background, and she's holding a key, and she's also in her lap is a teddy bear that I got for her when she was young. Um, after high school, I got back into doing some surrealisms. This was a, a favorite painting. Um, of a lot of people, they they really liked it. There's a uh, Todd Rundgren has a print of this in his home. This is a study of balance and harmonics, more so than what objects are in the picture. Now this is called smothered imagination. This was one time when I just felt like I was not inspired at all. And so I uh, represented that. Um, and I had done some other more real looking paintings. Uh, and then uh, this one is a pastel. It was a cell that wasn't used in the Fantasia cartoon. And I was inspired by that, so I just redrew it myself. Um, and here's another pastel. <clears throat> this is called Objects at Play. Um, when I was living in Denver, I uh, worked with this girl. She was she worked at uh, Rome's Bar and Grill. Her name is Teresa Moore. Um, but uh, after I had come back from Denver, we uh, built a recording studio, and I painted these these panels. And inside the panels are corrugated bed foam and we got over a hundred square feet of sound absorbing surface so that helped the room uh, sound really good this painting is I did this because of a story I wrote called Kenny's Little Creature um, and I did this painting by request and it now belongs to Alana this was a present to my granddaughter and it's similar to her mom's painting in that it's uh, she's riding a unicorn. This I did for my grandson. And my daughter's mother loves horses, as did my mother. And so I did this one for her. And then some paintings I had done on request. Um, my daughter requested me to do this one it's a kind of a copy of another artwork, but she liked it, and she wanted uh, wanted a reproduction uh, f for someone. I, I can't remember who it got to. And my granddaughter requested this one. Um, sometimes I work from a photograph. Well, actually, I, I work from, a, from photographs a lot, especially when I'm doing portraits. But in this case, I had taken a picture of me standing on the sidewalk in front of a parking lot, and so I painted that. Um, now we'll get into some portraits. This is a self-portrait. Uh, it might be hard to see, but this is my self-portrait in earth, water, and sky. 
But uh, my first actual portrait that I, at, at this time I needed to make some money, so I was painting portraits to sell, and uh, this was the first one I painted that I sold. Um, and uh, I had actually painted this one before that. This was an attempt to paint my daughter, but I lost my lines, and so proportions of things got a little bit distorted. But it's still kind of an interesting painting. Uh, here's a buddy of mine named George. He, I worked with him at, at a security place. Here's an old friend of mine that uh, she passed away, and uh, this, I did this in, uh, in memory of her. Um, this was done by request. This was a uh, friend of mine's cat. Um, this was probably my best portrait that I ever did. Um, I, I was finally getting to the point where I was on the verge of what I was after. So this was like a beginning step for uh, what I wanted to accomplish later. This was like the, the baby step into into the realm that I wanted to get to. Unfortunately, that was my last painting. But uh, here's the girl accepting the painting. Uh, now, sometimes I would do a painting from a photo, and it was a, here's a fuzzy photo of this couple, and so it was, and it was in a newspaper, and it was really hard to see, and so I just had to draw as much as I could out of it, and uh, it's so that's kind of, I mean, you can tell that's them, but it's not really the best representation. Um, this I did from a photo also; uh, it came out okay, and then uh, here's a portrait of my brother Jim. Uh, he's passed away, and uh, I did this from a photo also. But anyway, uh, that's that's some of my paintings, and uh, hope you enjoyed that. Check out the rest of my YouTube channel. I'm sure you'll find something you'll like. <laughs> All right, bye.